All right, I have a serious topic to actually speak about because there's a question in the title of this video. And the question is, are you a loser because you're a rideshare driver on the Uber and Lyft platform? Are you a loser because you're a Uber driver? Now, I'm gonna tell you guys a story from earlier on, and, and I wanna put a disclaimer out there. Cause I know a lot of you probably clicked on this video like, what? You know, I'm a part-time driver myself, but I wanna share a story with you guys. Back in, I would say this was maybe 2019, right before the pandemic, I had picked up a guy and I believe this was over on the Lyft platform. I picked up a guy and he was very angry. And the reason why was because he had, he was trying to get into another state and he had two Uber drive, well, Lyft drivers actually, that once they got there to pick him up, they declined to take him because they didn't know where he was going. Back in that time on Lyft, we didn't have what we have now with upfront you know, pricing where we can see where the rider is actually going. So I took the ride because it was actually across the, the line of where I lived, so it made it closer for me to get home at the end because I had had a trip prior that it took me into the area where he was actually at. But when this rider got inside of the vehicle, he, and I understand that he was angry, but he had his girlfriend with him. I believe he worked at a car dealership. I'm not sure exactly what he did within the car dealership, but he worked at a car dealership. So I want to put the disclaimer out there because this wasn't a guy that, you know, he was a, a Wall Street or whatever the case may be. Like he, he didn't have like this. He wasn't an ER doctor or anything like that. He worked at a car dealership. So he goes on and on and on, and he says something to the fact of, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're driving Uber and Lyft, and, and he's not speaking to me, but he's speaking about his frustrations, and, and he's like, you know, how much can you guys actually make, and this, this, that, and the other. And we're probably talking about a guy that makes like 60000 a year, right? And I just kind of took it and shrugged it off because it's like, we probably make about the same, but I'm a part-time driver, but a full-time driver, depending on where there are, might even make more than you at this car dealership. But throughout my journey inside of the rideshare industry, this wasn't kind of like my first thing that was a little bit discouraging. And I could imagine someone out there who's a full-time driver where it's like, you probably, as you ran into people throughout your journey, and it's not just passengers, we could even be speaking about family and friends because I myself in particular, even though I'm a part-time driver, I have a lot of other different things going on inside of my life. I have my own reselling business. We do storage auctions. Get subscribed to the channel because I, I show the whole journey here on this channel. But even though there's many other different things that I do outside of driving inside of the rideshare industry, I still hear these comments. My own mother at one point said, if you want to do something part-time, why don't you just go ahead and get a part-time job? You would probably make more. And I've made videos about this previously where, you know, you have a lot of people that whether they do this part-time or full-time, there's a big reason why they actually do it. And the reality is, is that there's a lot of headaches and different things that come into play when you have a regular job. Now, don't get me wrong. Inside of my journey over the last year or two, even though I've been driving since 2018, even I've had the luxury, and I guess you can say I'm blessed, because if I wanted to flip the switch off tomorrow and not drive at all, I can do that. I just actually choose to do it. Like a lot of the work for my business is inside of my house. It gives me the opportunity to, to you know, get outside of the house, interact with different people, make some money, and, and, and it is what it is. Now, there's a lot of things that come into the rideshare industry. Don't get me wrong. And I want to make this disclaimer to you guys. 
especially the new people that might be watching this video. The common misconception that a lot of drivers are under is that they don't fully realize their expenses and what they actually made after those expenses. Um, there's a lot of drivers out there who the reason why they're not making money is that they're taking a lot of long trips and having dead miles coming back where they're driving 50 miles burning gas and they're not actually getting paid for it. But one thing that I do definitely want to say is that you have to know your why. And I'm sure for many of you out there watching this video, no matter how long you've been inside of the rideshare industry, you have to know your why because I've never been a full-time driver. So I'll be honest, I can't speak for a lot of full-time drivers out there. If you're a full-time driver, get down in the comments, let me know what you think. But I can definitely speak for a lot of the different part-time drivers out there because no matter what discouraging things you hear that might play into your mind and make you rethink about being inside of the rideshare industry, there is a reason why you're inside of the rideshare industry part-time. You're either looking to make extra money you're either looking to just, you know, get out and, and, and do something and, you know, you're, you're burning some time or whatever the case may be. But the reality of it all is there's a reason why you're doing it. I, I, I made videos prior where it's like I don't really recommend getting into the rideshare industry full time. Don't make a career out of it. There's many different reasons why you should not do so. Going back to us part-time drivers, it's a reason why we do it. We don't necessarily have to do it. We already know that this is not the end for us. We already know what the future holds. This is just a stepping stone to get us to where we actually need to be. A lot of you out there, you're driving while you're working a full-time job. You're driving while you're working on your business. Keep going hard because you know that driving for Uber and Lyft is not actually the end game. It's not over. A lot of you are actually driving part-time in order to save up and fund your dreams. I salute you the most because during the pandemic, I was there. I started selling on eBay and doing the storage auction business 2020. It's four years down the road and you guys see videos that I make showing that journey. Whatever it is you're actually doing, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I probably see myself in the rideshare industry six more months. I'm, I'm going to save that story for a complete other video. And I'm going to leave this one here. Do definitely get down below in the comments and let me know some of the discouraging things people have said to you, stories and everything like that. And I'm definitely going to chime in on it. Give this video a thumbs up if you found value from it. Money Making Joey, I'm out of here and I will see you guys in the next one.